Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature in Lightburn version 1.3.01 <laughs> uh, called resizing uh, slots. And we're also going to have just a, a quick little look at uh, anchor point buttons. So that's something that a lot of people have uh, had problems with and struggled with in the past that I've helped via email or messaging or whatever. So uh, I promise you that today's video is going to be a short one and I'm going to stick to that promise. That is my goal for today. So let's jump in and get started right now. All right. So uh, in Lightburn, I am using up at the top here version 1.3.01. .01. If you upgraded to 1.3 and you had some problems and you reverted to the 1.2 again 1.3.01 has fixed those problems and it is now safe to come over to help and come over here to check for updates the 1.3.01 .01 is the most stable version if you have 1.2 you will not be able to follow this tutorial so I would suggest you do the upgrade. And the first thing I want to talk about before we get started, because I'll be using it in this, and nobody really knows what it is, and it is a mystery icon right here, the radio buttons with no names, okay? We're going to talk about that for a second, and this really does um, screw up a lot of people. So let's talk about this for one second. We have a square here, or a rectangle, whatever it is. And this is what I call the anchor point. Right now I have the anchor point set to the center. If I were to select this and rotate this by 10 millimeters, you'll see that it rotates off the center by 10 millimeters. Do you see that? However, if I were to choose the top left corner, and this is where a lot of people have problems aligning <laughs> a lot of their work, and I would do the same 10 millimeters again, do you see what just happened? It pivoted on the top left corner. See that? And if I do the bottom right corner and I do another 10 millimeters, you'll see that it will do the same exact thing. It will lock the bottom right corner and pivot off that corner. It's important in this demonstration that we have this set to the middle. We now know the radio buttons with no names. We're going to call those the anchor point. <laughs> All right, so with that out of the way, we're going to work on a, a new feature in Lightburn in version 1.3, which is called Resize Slots in Selection. And we're going to say that we have this phone stand, and we're not actually going to make this phone stand. I just want to show you the feature. And let's go ahead and select all of these right here and let's ungroup away we'll just do ungroup until it's all ungrouped first thing we have to do is ungroup everything we're going to resize this from three millimeter to six millimeter wood and i know i've gotten a lot of questions on this and there are several ways to do it this is now the easiest so the first thing you need to do is get out your ruler over here on the left side and you want to find out what size you already have and we're in inches i want to be in millimeters I'm going to switch to millimeters and we're going to check this top one and you'll see that this is for three millimeter wood yeah, because this slot is three millimeters you have to know that number so i'm going to say okay to the three millimeters and now what i'm going to do is select all of these slots so i'm going to drag from left to right so that i encompass all of these parts now i'm going to hold shift and i'm not going to let go and I'm going to keep dragging over these parts. And we're going to drag there. We're going to drag here. I'm not letting go of shift. I'm just dragging over all of these slots right here. And I'm going to keep on dragging until I've got everything in here. And now I've got all of the slots selected. So what I have to do now, we can't actually edit these yet because they're not a path. So we're going to come up here to uh, edit and we're going to come over here to convert to a path. And we've now converted those to a path. Now we can come to the tools menu and you'll see that resize slots has lit up. So we're going to click on resize slots 
and we know uh, now it's not selecting anything here right well because we don't have the thickness we want it to look for the three millimeter slot and we want it to resize that to the six millimeter slot so if I click on slot over here you'll see that it just lit up all of these three millimeter slots that I've selected and we're telling it now to resize it to six millimeter the tolerance we can leave alone and it's important like I said that you have your anchor in the middle up here before you start this and I'm going to say okay and we now have perfect six millimeter slots for our six millimeter wood so my goal today <laughs> was to make a quick simple easy video to follow to introduce the new function resize slots as well as talk about the anchor point up here and I think for once I've achieved my goal I've made a quick short tutorial for you that anybody can follow and you now know how to resize your slots so that you can adapt almost any file to fit any thickness of wood and there you go <laughs> under 10 minutes can you believe it uh, I wanted to focus today just on that one particular um, function now there's also a couple of other functions as you saw which are slot depth and tab height and those are two separate functions once you know how to do how to resize the slots from like in this video then slot depth and tab height is just gonna come natural so uh, you're gonna figure that out on your own but I thought that today would be uh, an interesting video to talk about that new feature in Lightburn version 1.3.01 there are a lot of people that buy these files on Etsy, let's say, or whatever it might be. And the designer doesn't tell you, uh, you know, hey, this is for three millimeter wood or uh, this was designed for four millimeter wood, six millimeter wood. They don't tell you that. So you have to go in and you have to actually figure it out. Take your little ruler, figure out how thick those slots are. And then you have to change all of those slots to the wood that you're using in your project. And a lot of people design these to three and four millimeters when you might be using six millimeter wood, for example. And I ran across that, I guess, about a year ago when someone sent me a design for free for a uh, organization box. And I was using six millimeter wood and it was designed for a, four, a three millimeter wood. And I was like, why would anybody ever design this box for, you know, that small of a wood? And back then, you know, there are several different ways that you can redo your slots. But this is a great new feature. It's so easy to use. And if I wasn't doing the video tutorial, well, I would have actually been able to do that much quicker. Uh, we're talking about, you know, 45 seconds to a minute to resize all of the slots in a template so that I could switch from three millimeter to six millimeter wood or whatever sizes I needed to switch between. So uh, I'm loving this new feature in Lightburn and it seems like every time they come out with a new version of the software you're going to get some new feature that we're going to actually be able to apply in real life. And uh, there, like I said there's no reason to go over the other functions because once you learn this you've learned all of the functions in there you'll be able to figure that out you just measure the size that you want if you want to resize the tabs but the important thing that I wanted to uh, also point out was that anchor point <laughs> and there is no name for it in Lightburn it's not in any of the documentation and trust me I've checked because I read all of the new documentation that comes out there is there's no description of that uh, that I could find anyway there probably is somewhere it's probably called something that I just didn't recognize <laughs> but I'm gonna call it the anchor point and that anchor point is extremely important and as you saw in the video for doing your work so um, I met my goal today <laughs> which is something that I wanted to do I wanted to get a video done in under 10 minutes on a new feature and I think I got that done and by the way you won't hear any more squeaky chair anymore <laughs> got rid of that 
that annoying squeaky chair um, that was so uncomfortable to sit in. Uh, I guess that chair was about 10 years old and it got me a comfortable chair. So <laughs> I know that doesn't make any difference to you. Anyway, <laughs> I, I hope this video helps you out uh, when it comes to uh, working with tabs and slots. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.